Did you know over 60% of people fail their certification exam on the very first try? 60%. And the brutal truth is most fail again because they never fix the real problem. And in this video, I will show you how to make sure you're not part of that 60%. Whether it's hands-on exam like OSCP and PMPT or multiple choice tests like Security Plus and CSSP. The principles I'm about to share cut across all of them. I'll break down the exact approach that actually works so you can stop falling into the same study traps and then start using strategies that get real results. I'm told up by Michael, cybersecurity expert and career coach. I help people break into high paying cybersecurity roles. Okay, and if you want more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So let's start with the most obvious question here Where do most people go wrong? Where? The first mistake I see people make is ignoring the instructions even before they start studying. Yes, look, I know documentation is boring, but this is literally where you find the rules of the game that you're playing. Every exam has a document that tells you what tools you can use, what you can't do, and how much time you have. Now think of it like a video game. You wouldn't play a new game without learning the controls, right? Cool. The same thing applies here. Here is something most people don't know. After you read the official stuff, go online and find blog posts from people who just passed the exam. Okay, They will warn you about tricky parts the official guide doesn't mention. Trust me, learning from their mistakes is way better than making your own. Okay, Now, once you understand the rules, most people make another huge mistake. You know what it is? They try to learn everything perfectly before taking the exam. That's completely backwards thinking. Now, here's what smartest test takers do instead. Every practical exam has easy questions mixed in with hard ones. You want to find the easy ones first and get those points in the bag. Then work on harder stuff. Now, Think about it this way. Some exams have basic vulnerabilities worth big points that you can find fast if you know what to look for, right? While other people waste time on complex problems, you're already scoring points and building confidence. And speaking of confidence, there's one area that scares most people. Windows privilege escalation. Ooh, you know how to actually get good at it, do you? It's not by reading more books. You practice a lot set up practice environment and break into them over and over and over again. You see, reading about it won't make you good at it. Doing it will. Okay. If you're dealing with multiple choice exams, the strategy completely changes. Forget about everything you learn, you know, studying in school because that approach will hurt you here. Practice test become your best friend. Okay. Take a practice test, see what you got wrong, then study only those topics that you got wrong. Take another practice test. You keep repeating this cycle over and over again. Now, why does this work? The questions follow patterns. Once you've seen enough practice tests, you will recognize these patterns. Then the real exam feels familiar instead of scary. Do you understand? Now, let me give you another tip that saves you tons of time. Skip those thick official study books. They are packed with information you don't actually need. Instead, find guides that are made by people who passed recently. They know what actually get tested. Okay. And when you're taking the real exam, trust your first answer. Research shows your gut feeling is right most of the time. Only change an answer if you know you made a clear mistake. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning real skills and daily guidance two hours a day for five days it's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen look i love making these youtube videos but let's be honest how many times have you watched a great video thought i'm going to do something about that and then 
didn't. That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support. Okay, we're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. This brings us to probably the biggest problem area, study plans. Most people completely mess up this. Yes, they plan how many hours to study instead of planning what they want to accomplish. Now, here's what works better. Instead of saying, I will study for two hours tonight, this is what you say, I will finish chapter three by Wednesday. See the difference? You are focused on progress, not just time, the result. But there's another trap here. You want to stop reviewing things you already know. You see, I see this all the time. People restart from the beginning every study session. That feels productive, but it's actually wasting your time because you already know it anyway. Always work on your weak spot, the things you don't know yet. So learn something completely new. And remember, you don't need to know everything to pass these exams. You don't. Learn the basics really well first, then add more advanced stuff if you have time. Don't try to memorize those massive textbooks. Okay? Now, here's something that might surprise you. Failing your first try often helps you pass the second time. Sounds weird, right? But the second attempt feels much easier because you know exactly what to expect. You've seen the format, you know how hard the questions are, and you know where you struggled. Now, think of your first attempt as expensive practice. If you pass, great. If you don't, well, you now have inside information for next time. Most people quit after failing once, but that's a mistake. Yeah, don't be most people. Before your real exam though, you need to practice under real conditions. How do you do that? Set a timer. Use only the tools you would have during the exam. Make it feel as real as possible. Do this at least twice, okay? For practical exams, find practice environment that match your test. For OSCP, you can use proven ground practice boxes and give yourself the same time limit as the real exam. This teaches you how to, you know, work when you are stressed and the clock is ticking. Look, I know this is a lot of information, but it really comes down to this. Passing isn't about being super smart or studying more hours than everyone else. It's about having the right strategy. Read the rules completely, go for easy point first, use practice tests for multiple choice, plan what to accomplish, not how long to study. Practice under real conditions. If you fail first, use it as a learning data. And don't wait too long to book your exam date because the more you wait, the more nervous you get. The strategies I've shared work across all certification types, whether it's Anton experience like OSCP or multiple choice tests like Security Plus, this approach cuts your chances of being in that 60% who fail. Do you understand? And if this helped you see your certification prep differently, hit that like button and subscribe for more real talk about cybersecurity careers. Drop a comment below with which certification you're working towards. I want to know. I read every single one and often turn them into content that helps prepare everyone for what is coming next. I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.